Alicante Town by Town. Pinoso. El Pinos. Radices terram versus oculum autem in coelum. Roots in the ground, but treetops in the heavens. This is the text written on the shield of Pinoso. Refer to the fortitude of the Pinoso people who do not forget their past. Its origins date back 1,000 years during which time four Roman villages were located here. Pinoso is a clear example of a laborious and working town that adapts to the resources its lands offer. It's particular homage to two of these products. It's seen in the very modern House of Wine and Marble. A vanguard premise where exhibitions and events are held. Traditional agriculture has been embroidered in the vine fields. Its cold and dry climate is propitious for cultivating grapes for time and memorial. Cucos appear scattered here and there, all through the corner side. as a refuge for animals during the transhumans. And if the wine from Pinoso is important and legendary, its gem salt mines are likewise important. The Cabezo del Sal, at 893 meters of altitude, is a mountain of gypsum and salt. There are remains of gypsum ovens and caves around it, where the miners made great effort to extract salt from the ground. Nowadays, salt diluted in water is sent to far away Torre Vieja. In miners, although in open sky mines, extract ivory cream marble from the Goto Mountain. An impressive straight cut from where enormous blocks of marble are obtained for national and international markets. This intense mining and agricultural activity has brought prosperity to Pinoso. In 1900s, three bells and four watch faces were bought for 11,000 pesetas to provide the town with a clock. Since then, it has worked in spite of its manual mechanism needed to be wound every day. A tower was built isolated from any other building and located at the top part of the town for its perfect visualization. In addition to the parochial St. Peter Apostle Church, there are several chapels in the Pinoso municipality. Some of them are really singular, like that of Santa Catalina, excavated in the rock of a hill and that once was a water tank. 